Hey, what's up guys? Steven the Salon Guy here, and today I've got another special request for you guys. This one is none other than Grammy winner, songwriter, model, actress, Sierra. She's beautiful and she's got a new haircut, and I'm going to show you guys how to achieve that new haircut. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with our base guideline here in our first section, which is in the nape area. So, we're going to take it probably to about right here along the nape area. And the way you do this is simply, you can either use a comb or you can even use no comb just to get a nice solid straight line in there. Just come in underneath like so here and simply using no tension, cut a nice straight line right across. And this is going to be your guideline. This is going to be the baseline for the whole haircut working in through the back and through the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to bring this all the way down into here uh, to get a nice even baseline and then we'll go over the layering. So in the picture we saw before, uh, Sierra has her hair parted on the side here, but we still have to create a slight face frame uh, just because she does have it angled. So what we're going to do is we're going to determine our length of how we work, where we want the face frame and we're going to simply just cut everything and angle it to there. So you can do that by chipping in this way towards the front and that will kind of help determine where exactly you want the face frame to live. So let's bring this up just to about right around the chin area and we'll bring this all down this way angle this towards our base length here and then we'll have created our face frame and that will be the part that you could sweep back and you can style tuck behind the ear but also gives it a softer piece when you brush it over it creates a just a nice little angle towards the front here okay so now we're done with this let's go and start the layers throughout the back and the top now we're ready to work on the back layers here so what we're going to do is we're going to start right here and we're going to bring everything pretty much straight out from the head and we're going to follow the head shape and we're going to just continue to work down throughout the head shape and just bring everything straight out 90 degrees creating a nice soft blended layer nothing too steep we're not looking to create any sort of stacking or any sort of bob type look we're just looking to remove some weight here and just create a nice layer that has nice soft movement to it so what we're going to do is going to continue to do this throughout the back of the head and we'll just raise this up a little bit here and we're going to follow our guide comb everything again straight out from the head there's our guide from before and we're going to cut this at a nice angle coming straight out from the head follow this all the way down like that work into the bottom here uh, you shouldn't have too much hair coming off um, and there is a nice soft kind of mid-length layer so I'm going to continue to do this throughout the whole back of the head just following the guide uh, not really over directing at all until you kind of get towards the corners because you want to make sure you leave a little bit of weight you don't want to create any sort of holes or anything uh, so you do want to over direct back just a little bit when we get in through this area right in through here so I'm going to and you want to do that by just holding it straight back so I'm going to continue to cut the whole back of the head uh, and then we'll be ready to work on the top now that the back is done you can see the layers are complete and if you just need to check this to make sure everything is in balance you can comb everything straight out and you can see it's all even and well balanced you always want to make sure you check for balance and if there's any pieces that are longer then they'll be a little obvious and then that's where you can cut them uh, but this is a good quick way to make sure that everything is balanced also you can tell by feel by pulling everything straight out this way just because you want to make sure everything is even and good to go so now that we're done with the back here we're going to connect the top here and as you've seen me do that a number of times when you're connecting the top part of the head with the back you simply do that by taking a section from the top and then from your previous that you cut and there is where it starts the guide in the back and you'll be able to to see it uh, because the hair will basically fall from your hands and it will then be the right spot to cut it. So again, you comb it straight up. 
There you see the hair falling out like that, falling down from the guide. And that last piece, that's where you start to connect everything. And again, you do that just because you don't want to hold everything straight up from the head because you might create a weight line if you just hold it straight up and cut it straight across. Uh, then you'd have to re-blend everything and kind of start all over again. So what we're going to do is blend this in to create our guide throughout the top. And then we'll be ready to actually start cutting the top layers. Now we're ready to cut the top. And now is when we can cut everything horizontally because we can then take it from the section that we cut before, which created our guide, and you'll be able to see it underneath like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is continue across to the whole top of the head, combing it up straight up from the head, 90 degrees. And there you'll see the guide and let, let all the hair kind of fall out of your guide because that is the, that's the corners and we blend that in after this because again, we're focusing just on the top right now. So bring everything straight up, let any hair fall out because that means it's not really ready to be cut yet. Uh, and we're continue working our way all the way forward. Then when we're done with this, as we get to the very, very front, should take one, one or two last sections. Then we'll be ready to start moving in through the corners now. Okay, so that's finished. And how we blend everything in, and you've seen this in my medium layered haircut, is you comb everything straight out from the head and you will see the corners and you will cut it. So you're just basically rounding it out. All right, there it is, cutting it there. And we're gonna continue this all the way throughout the corners here to the very, very front. Then when you are ready to move down, you just wanna comb it down this way a little bit. And if there's any bit that needs to be blended in, uh, the hair will tell you, it'll look like it doesn't really belong there or it's a little uneven. That is where you just kind of round that out and just blend it all in, just so you have a nice silhouette uh, coming from the top of the head all the way through the bottom. All right, now that the layering is done, we've got a beautiful shape in through here um, from the layers all the way through the bottom. Uh, if you noticed uh, also in the picture, she had a little bit of texture throughout here. So what I'm gonna do is, this is a really fun and cool technique that I do, is I use the razor. What I do is I'm going to bring everything straight forward like this, and I'm going to use the razor here, the feather razor, and I'm going to notch lightly into it, not too far up, probably from here down, and just kind of create some texture throughout the whole thing. Notching in like this, literally just curving the, the blade so that it rests, right? So when you go into it, it's going to take some hair. So we're just gonna to continue to do this, creating, again, some notched uh, layers in throughout this. Just go throughout the whole head, and this is going to enhance some of the maybe natural wave, or it's gonna create a little more texture when styling it, uh, but it's a great way to remove a little bit of weight and add some texture uh, when it comes to the layers. Now, you don't wanna to slide too much, that's really thinning it. This is more notching into it and creating a little more textured shape. So let's finish this up. Then I'm going to use a styling cream, uh, and then we're gonna blow dry it, and then we'll be finished. All right, so the haircut's complete. As you can see, it's got a beautiful shape to it. Uh, again, um, it's got some kind of medium length layers in through here, some texture, as you can see where those, the technique I did with the razor would create some added texture, which is really, really nice. Just uh, in case you didn't know, this is the cream of the crop mannequin uh, named Emma by Hair Art. And, and this literally is the cream of the crop, 100% virgin uh, imported hair. This literally feels like silk, this hair, um, but this literally is the cream of the crop as far as mannequins go. Uh, HairArtProducts.com is where you can find all the mannequins that I use. Uh, so now back to the style here. What I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna create some, uh, some soft waves in through here, just nothing too, too crazy, um, but just give a little bit of a twist, a little bit of a bend, just to create a little something to the hair. Uh, and you can do that simply by uh, just locking in and doing quick little twist, and that gives it just a little bit of texture, a little bit of bend. Uh, and, and I'm gonna do this throughout um, pretty much the whole head here. Uh, there you go, twist it, lock it in, and it just creates a little bit 
of texture. You can do that throughout the bottom here uh, and just have some fun with it. And when, when I'm done with this, uh, then we'll be pretty much finished with the whole look. All right, well, here's my Sierra-inspired haircut and hairstyle. Um, I, what I did is I went with a smoothing iron and just created some soft little, not really even waves, just some texture into the hair just to kind of break it up a little bit. Um, now, unfortunately, with the mannequin ears, you know, it's not, this isn't a human, so the hair and the ear doesn't bend a certain way, but um, she had her hair kind of tucked behind, behind her ear um, really tight. Uh, but I had a difficult time doing that on this mannequin, but I tried to achieve the look. Uh, she had a little bit of a piece coming down and through here, and uh, this is pretty much like a medium textured, medium length haircut. And you can see the it's got some nice movement in through here, um, very very pretty. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. So um, I uh, just finished it off with the light hairspray, and this is pretty much the look. So. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you to Hair Art for this beautiful Emma mannequin. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.